so the next step is on your what would be your principal database right click go to tasks and select mirror click on configure security and here we will be setting up a witness server this way it will do automatic failover for us this is our principal server the default instance SQL 1 is going to host our mirror database so this is our mirror server and then our witness server is going to be the other name instance SQL 2 now for this part since I'm running this on my local machine I'm not actually on a domain so I don't have my services running under a domain or AD account. I, I'm just using my uh, local system accounts. If you were running domain accounts, you would just put in those users here, the users that you're using to run your SQL services. For me, since this is a local machine, I could just leave this blank. So click Next and click Finish. make sure that everything succeeds and yes start mirroring so now you can see the status is synchronized the databases are fully synchronized so mirroring is set up we could click OK now on the principal database you'll see a status here saying principal and that it is synchronized on the mirrored instance for the mirror database if we refresh we'll see now that this will say it's the mirror database and that it's synchronized so database mirroring is fully set up now and we can test to make sure that it is performing the way it should so for the principal database we have one table here called test1 and in there is just one let me switch to that server first there's only one record in there so as a test let's insert a second record now once I did this the mirror will pick that up uh, and the change will now be written to this mirror database since we have this third instance acting as a witness server if this principal database were to go down this secondary mirror database will then be brought back online and become the live principal database to test that we can shut down this principal server so let's do that this is the default instance principal server and let's stop this service so now you can see the default instance is now stopped the secondary server what was the mirror server this should now become the principal and since the first server is shut down, it's
the, it's the principal, but it's not currently mirrored because it has no server to mirror to right now. But if we bring back the default instance, this one the mirroring will get reestablished and our default instance, our first server, will become the mirror database. So this one will be the mirror and this one will remain the principal. So to see that the value was added, the value we added is also in this uh, second instance. We can just query that instance and make sure that the value did get copied over. And yep, the value that we added is written into what was the mirror database, which is now our principal database. So we see that failover worked successfully. And that now this database is the principal and it's fully synchronized with this database which is our mirror, which is fully synchronized and restoring. And that concludes and a short introduction on how to set up database mirroring in SQL Server 2012.